Hey guys, welcome back to CNC Outdoor Power Equipment. I know it's been a while we haven't put any new videos out. We've been crazy selling. You guys have been coming in. We appreciate it so much. We really do. We're, we're small in here. We only got about three people. We don't make commission. We're family owned. We really appreciate all the support. You're keeping all our guys busy. We love to see it. So we got something new here. Um, we've been really excited about this unit. We finally got it in. We only got two of them in. This is the uh, Massimo T-Boss 1100D. D stands for diesel. Wait for it. Kubota diesel in this bad boy. 24.8 horsepower. This engine is a phenomenal engine. Everybody knows Kubota. It knows their diesels are phenomenal. So, you know, you might be thinking to yourself, what else does it have? You see the EPS right here, right off the bat, electronic power steering. You got to love it. This thing turns on a dime, turns phenomenally. It's got the power to get there. You're going to love it. So we'll start off here in the front. Of course, you have your lights. You have high beams, low beams. You have turn signals as well. So that goes to tell you this thing is street legal straight from the factory and we'll get we'll go through the things that it has to make it street legal but I definitely wanted to point that out for a lot of people wondering so you have your accessory hook right here you can use this for a range of different options it's great to have it you know mounted right here connects to the frame so if you got to pull this out whatever your winch isn't working this is a phenomenal little hook right here right underneath you have your winch this is a 4500 pound winch so with that being said, you're going to have no problem getting yourself out or get some of those other brands out when they get stuck in the mud after you go through, if you know what I'm saying. The other thing, this is the true timber cam bone. So it is, you know, it's, it's not little kiddish looking. It's not army looking. It is a real camo. So for those guys wanting to hunt, wanting to go out in the woods and not necessarily be seen, this is really a good route for you. A couple other things, independent suspension all the way around so you're going on those bumps you're going down those trails it's going to ride phenomenally you're going to have the weight there to keep you down but it's also going to be nimble enough for you and with that power steering you have no problem as well as locking differentials so you know you're in the grass you don't want it to be locked you don't want to tear up the yard you're in the dirt you need it locked whatever it may be you have the ability to lock not only the back but also the front at the flip of a switch and we'll, we'll get into that on the dash so also these tires they are knobby they're good tires um, they're 230s by 65 14s so they're not huge you're, you're going to get decent gas mileage they're not real mud grapplers but they're also you know going down the trail going in a little bit of water they're going to get you out of there no problem so if we come around here and take a look inside the dash conveniently located next to your steering wheel you have your horn and that goes with being street legal at least here in ohio you got to have a horn on this other side over here, which I know you can't see, you have your turn signals, so you can notate which way you're going. Again, just making it as user-friendly as possible. Over here, you have your shifter, so you got neutral, low, high, and reverse. So, you know, your standard gears, um, high is really nice, you're just cruising down the road, low when you're going up a hill, save your transmission, save your brakes, all that kind of stuff. Over here, you have your gauge. It's going to tell you RPMs, um, speed, all that kind of stuff, as well as if you have a check engine light, as well as your glow plugs, temperature, turn signal indicators, which gear you're in, indicates which gear you're in. Over here, starting on the right side, you have your in and out for your winch. You have your uh, hazards here. You got your low beams and your high beams and your daylight running lights. Over here, you also have another light switch, and then you have your locking differentials. This one's going to be um, like your turf mode. This is actually, I'm sorry, this is going to be your turf mode. This is going to be your, your locking differentials. You're going to have your rear and your front here. Then over here, one of my favorite features, electronic um, dump bed. So by a flip of a switch, uh, you know, you're one of the guys, you got arthritis, your back's killing you, you've been working your whole life. You don't have to go down there and manually dump it. Flip the button, dumps for you. You can't beat it. You really can't. They also got these cool little features here, little side steps, protects your feet when you're driving, driving through the thick of things. You know, you're not getting hit with branches. You want to get in there, you just push it down and get right in. Really convenient. And then also, which I know you can't see, but you have your parking brake over here, which makes it really nice. You're not forgetting to put it down because it's right next to you when you get in the vehicle. If we come around to the back, the dump bed. This is a metal dump bed. It is their extended option. It's on some of their other units. Um, it is very deep very wide really can fit a lot in here coolest feature about it is you can actually make this a flatbed you can take all these sides off and just use this as a flatbed you want to fit some wider stuff on here you want to strap it down whatever you want to do it's perfect you can also of course drop the tailgate of course you have your rear lights your turn signals 
You have these nice little mud flaps to protect these lights from your tires. And then you also got not only a two inch receiver, but a two inch ball comes standard. So everything you're seeing on this unit comes standard. Um, most of the competition, you're not gonna have these standard options. They're gonna cost hundreds of dollars. Well, you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars once you just spent thousands of dollars on a unit. So we really like that it comes with those options. Of course, there is other options you can add if you'd like to, um, but everything standard is it's, it's ready to go. It's ready to get titled, ready to be street legal, ready to do whatever work you need it to do. So the biggest question is, what's the price? This is priced right at $17,750, which is very competitive for the market with the Kubota in it. The Kubota, like I said, is a 24.8 horsepower engine. It is liquid cooled. It's a phenomenal engine. It's pretty, it's powder coated. You gotta love it. Um, we have two of these available, both in camo. Once they're gone, they're gone. I don't know if we'll get any more this year. Um, these have been really hard to get for obvious reasons. So um, we would love for you to stop in. We're open uh, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Thursday, we're 7.30 to 6. Fridays, we're 7.30 to 4.30. And Saturdays, we're 10 to 3. We'd love to help you out. We also do appointments, so send us a message if you want to come in. And the best part about this, you see this ad, you come in, we'll give you a $100 gas gift card. Get you running, get you rolling. $100 gas gift card, mention this ad, mention this video. Stop in and see you.